Alright, in this video I want to go over some pretty simple UV mapping inside of Blender. First thing I'm going to do is go up to my Choose Layout button. It's set as default right now. I'm going to change that to UV Editing. You'll notice that on the left side of my screen I have my UV Image Editor. And on the right side of the screen I have my 3D Viewport. So now I need to start UV mapping, I'm going to switch into edit mode, make sure all of the vertices or faces in my scene are selected. You can press A to toggle select all. I'm going to hit 7 to get into top view. I'm going to press that 7 button on my numpad. And then I'm going to press 5 on my numpad to get into an orthographic view. And now I can press U on my keyboard to get some UV mapping options. Now that's the letter U on my keyboard that I pressed. And we get quite a few UV mapping options here. I'm going to choose Project from View. And now you'll notice that in my UV image editor I have a whole bunch of UVs here. And I can just press S while it's selected to scale it up. Now I'm going to export this and to do that I'm going to go down to UVs and I'm going to go export UV layout I'm going to put it in drive D I'm going to call it new UV layout so you can just call it new UV layout or whatever you want to call it we're going to choose format PNG the size I'm okay with 1024 by 1024 and now I can just hit export UV layout Alright, now that I've exported my UV map, I'm going to open this up inside of Photoshop. I'm not sure which program that you're going to be using, so I'm not going to go over too much of what I'm doing here. Here's my UV map. Basically the goal is going to be to paint on top of it, to load up textures, and do some texture work. So I'm going to rename this layer into UVs. I'm going to open up my textures that I have here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the grass texture, paste it in here, scale it up a little bit, like this. And then I want to put the snow texture above it. So that way the snow is on top of the grass. And then the bottom layer is my UVs. So I'm just going to use the eraser with uh, any type of a brush that you may want to use. I then start erasing like this and we get sort of a nice effect. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to make sure I don't export when I save this the UVs because I don't want those UV lines showing up on my texture map. I'm going to go File, Save Has, Save This Has a PNG and call it texture. So with the texture created inside of Photoshop I need to apply it to my model. To do that I'm gonna switch my screen layout over here to the default layout. I'm going to select my object in object mode. I'm gonna go over to the right side of my screen, look for the materials tab, create a new material, go into the textures tab, create a new texture uh, then for the type of texture I'm going to choose image or movie from the list and then I'm going to hit this open button to load up my texture which I believe I saved it in drive D and I labeled it texture open that up and I'm going to scroll down here under coordinates I'm going to choose UV and for the map, I'm going to choose UV map, the only UV map we have created. Alright, so if I were to hit F12, that would render it and you would see that it is applied to the plane. But I want to also see it in the viewport. To get that, I'm going to go down over here to the shade method. And I'm going to change that to textured. And in this particular case, I need to flip my normals. You probably won't need to do it. You can also just rotate your object like this so its textured side is facing the front. I'm just going to do that 
instead. If you wanted to flip the normals, you would just select the geometry, hit W, and then choose Flip Normals. Okay, so I still don't have that texture on the model. What I need to do is press N on my keyboard and go under Display. Now when I press N, that opens up the Properties panel. So I can drop down the display. Uh, then I'm going to choose under Shaden, GLSL. And that's going to allow me to view the texture from my viewport. So I can actually just smooth that shade in there. So there you go. That's a pretty quick look at UV mapping inside of Blender. Hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe, comment, and thumbs up the video if you liked it. Thanks.